if you ever seen the quote on the wall in the middle of Miss Jen's puppets. Yeah, that's a lot. Now, who can tell me what it says? Nobody? Okay, I guess I'll just tell you. It's do small things with great love. And this was oh, actually. I knew. And this was wrote by my saint, Saint Mother Teresa of Calcutta. Now, so she was born in um, Macedonia, August 26, 1910. Um, wait, hang on. And she died September 5th, 1997 in Calcutta. So she was born in Uska, that's the town, and her father died when she was eight. And her birth name was Agnes. Her, um, she grew up in the Roman, Roman Catholic Church and wanted to give her life at 18 to God. At 18, Agnes joined the Sisters of Loreto and became a missionary to India. She had to learn English. She spent a year in Ireland learning to speak English at the Loreto Abbey. One year later, Agnes began her mission missionary work in Darling, Darlington, India? Hmm. She learned the local language, Benjali, ben, I can't pronounce it right, and taught at the local school in 1931. She took her vows as a nun and chose the name Teresa after Therese of Lazia. She taught for many years in India, becoming the headmistress at a school in eastern Calcutta. At 36, Mother Teresa felt the call from God to help the, poor, the poorest of the poor in India. She received some basic medical training and set out to help the poorest of the poor, sick and needy. It wasn't easy a task in 1994, I think. 1994, India, she had very little support. She was like the poor. She, she herself had to beg for food. There were only 13 members at the time. And, well, she died from a heart attack and some, she had like a lot of surgeries. And I want to show you my pictures whenever I went to the, to the Missionaries of Charity in Lafayette. So this is me, and this is like what I'm wearing here, and this, let's see, oh. this is me talking with the nuns. This is Sister Leo Grace. She she was she was born in India. And this is Saint, uh, no, not Saint, Sister Leo, no, Sister Leo. No! Dummy. Sister Dummy. Ah. And this is me talking with them. She was born in South Africa, I think. And here's me talking with them again. And here are some things that they gave me. So here's Mother Teresa holding a baby. And this is her bedroom. This is a prayer that she wrote by herself. And that's all. Saint is Mary, Saint Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene is the patron saint of hairstylists. I want to be a hairstylist one day. Mary Magdalene wiped Jesus' feet. She was there when Jesus died and rose from the dead. Her feast day is July 22nd. Yeah. Selena. Her feast day was April 29th. She was the patron saint of nurses. St. Catherine of Selena was the youngest of 
25 kids. She was one of three that did not die during her childhood. She did not get married because she became a nun. She spent more time praying than talking to her own family. At the age of 33, she died from a stroke. John the Beloved. His feast day is December 27th. He's a patron saint of love, loyalty, friendship, and authors. He was one of Jesus' closest friends. He was also one of Jesus' 12 apostles. He, he, he was at many of important things in Jesus' life, like the witnessing the empty tomb of the resurrection at the foot of the cross holding Mary and at the Last Supper. He wrote the book uh, he wrote the book of Revelation, three letters of John, and the gospel according to John. He was the only saint that was, I mean, he was the only apostle that was not a martyr. A martyr is a person defending their faith, wait, defending, 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 their faith, wait, who dies defending their faith? Who is an evangelist? An evangelist is somebody who preaches to people that believe in Christ and grow in faith. His name is St. Philip Neri. His feet stays on May 26th. He's the patron saint of joy, laughter, and obedience. St. Philip Neri was born on July 21st, 1515, in Florence, Italy. He started his own orderly so young boys can come and learn about God and get them off the streets. He became a priest at the age of 35. He had a natural talent for bringing the best out of people. He was known for performing miracles and making people laugh. He believed that joy is the key to holiness. My, my saint report is about Saint Dominic. He was born in Spain. He devoted his life leading people back to the faith. He created a, the Dominicans, I think. Right? Mary appeared to him and asked him to pray the rosary every day and to teach others to pray the rosary. Soon people came back to the faith. His feast day is August 8th. He, he is the partner of Saint Ash, the partner of Saint of Ashnots because at his bat, baptism, a star was shining from his chest while singing. Saint Therese. Saint Therese had four sisters and three brothers. Saint Therese. Saint Therese's feast day is October first. St. Therese's feast day is celebrated by doing little things around the house and offering it up to God. St. Therese's birthday is January 2nd, 1873. St. <coughs> Therese's dad and mom are Louis Martin and Zelly Martin. St. Therese died at age 24. St. Ther Therese died at 7.20 p.m. St. Therese's last words were, Oh my God, I love you. Good job. My saint was St. Thomas More. His feast day was June 22nd. He was the patron of your lawyers. St. Thomas More was a wise man. He studied law in London. He was a chancellor of England under King Henry wanted to pass a law that would make him head of the Church of England. St. Thomas More refused and was arrested. He was con condemned to death, but he, he still prayed for the, for the king before he died. Yeah. Born into a wealthy family, and at 18, she gave up all her wealthiness and became poor and decided to help the poor and follow St. Francis. 
she started the order of she started the order called the poor Claire's. When she was six, Jesus allowed her to see the map on her wall.
tuberculosis. She's the patron of divine mercy and gratitude in the family. Jesus appeared to her many times and asked her to teach others about his divine mercy. She wrote about her visions in her diary. The red ray represents the blood of Jesus and the white ray represents water. This picture reminds us of Jesus' charity, forgiveness, and love. Jesus, I trust in you. So it is a patron of musicians. Her feast day was November 22nd. She died in the third century. She he was uh, born in uh, one she suffered in no, the two thirty eight. Saint John Paul the Second was a very special person. He was a kind and loving man who became the Pope. He was the leader of the Catholic Church. For a long time, he traveled to many countries to meet people and share his loving and messages of <coughs> peace. He was a true hero of kindness. St. Elizabeth of the Trinity, a patron saint against illness, sick people, and loss of parents. She liked to visit the sick and she, she put great thought into all that she prayed for. She loved, loved to sing in the choir. She liked to work with youth and their Christian faith. She did died at the age of 26 of Addison disease. I am wearing scrubs because she was always caring for the sick like a nurse. My saint is Gianna Mola. Her feast day is April 28th. She is a pa she is the patron of mothers, doctors, unborn babies. She was a pediatrician. Gianna was married to Peter and had four children. She had a tumor while pregnant for their fourth child and kept the baby risking her life. She died 17 months after her daughter's birth. She was canonized a saint in May 2004 with her husband and four children there. He was born in Hungary. Hungary. He was in the army, but didn't like to fight. He gave half of his cake to a homeless man. Saint <laughs> Paul. His feast day is on June 29th. Present Saint of writings and. Oh, he was one of the first Christians 
he wrote nothing in the most of, in the New Testament. He was given the name Saul at birth. He was he was an apostle. He is known for his teaching and writings. Her feast day is November 25th. She is the patron saint of nurses, librarians, and teachers. She was ordered to be killed by a will. When she touched the will, it shattered, so the so she was beheaded. My saint is Saint Maria Goretti. She was was 11 years old. She loved taking care of her family. She was attacked and stabbed 14, 14 times by her neighbor. Her family found her bleeding on the floor, then brought her to the hospital before she passed away. She forgave her neighbor and said she wants to see him in heaven with her. With her. He had a dream of Mary, M Maria, and she gave him lo logs which burned his hands three years later. Maria, be Maria became a saint. My saint is St. John the He was born on May 8, 1786 in France. He was raised in a Catholic home and his family often helped him. He had very little education, but he still went to school to become a priest anyway. Many people traveled far just to speak to him. He would spend 16 to 18 hours a day hearing confession. St. John Vianney is the patron saint of priests and the second patron saint of our diocese. His feast day is August 4th. Monica is the mother of St. Augustine because she was unable to baptize Augustine. She worried when he fell sick. She asked her husband to allow him to be baptized. He agreed, then changed his mind when Augustine recovered. Her prayers were answered when he became a Christian and a great man of God. Pierre Georgian. His feast day is July 4th. The patron saint of Mount Clemens. He was born in Italy, April 6, 1901. He loved nature. He devoted his life for helping the poor. Pierre got sick and died at age 24. He does not, he didn't have a feast day yet, but he died on July 4th. Maximilian Cole, feast August 14th, patron families, was in a concentration camp during World War II, offered to take a man's place to die because the man had a family devo devotion to Mary. Elizabeth liked to visit the sick. She liked to sing in the choir. She lost her father at the age of seven. She was very good at piano. She died at the age of 26. St. Francis Xavier was the patron saint of missionaries. His feast day is December 3rd. St. Francis Xavier enjoyed school and sports. He is known to establish the religious order of priests and brothers. He baptized <coughs> many people in India and Japan. The St. Teresa of Avila. She, her feast day is on October 15th. She's a patron saint of penance and those and religious orders. She was a Carmelite nun who reformed the Carmelite order. She was known as the Scales or Shoeless Carmelites. She was very lively, witty, and sometimes curt. A strong leader in public because of the criticism of other sisters. She was also she 
was also the first fellow of the doctor to be called doctor of the church. It is Saint Veronica. She is the patron of Saint Wait. of laundry, photography, and kindness. Saint Veronica feast day is July twelfth. She was a kind woman from Je Jerusalem. She used her veil to wipe the face of Jesus on Good Friday. An ima image of the Lord's face was left behind on the veil. We, we, we do not know when St. Veronica was born or when she died. Go get it to show She also brought this.
conversation with Jesus in a diary. She was only 30 when she died. In the same year, Paul II, he was, I, I was born in Poland in 1920. I lost my parents at a very young age. I lived there for four years. I hid from Nazareth while I was studying to be a priest. Traveling, skiing, and hiking were some of my favorite things to do. As a, as a young priest, I learned to love human love. If one human loves, if one human loves, sacrifice of fair love because love is fair and it is beautiful. His feast day, March 17th. <laughs> I love that! Saint's name is Saint Kateri. Her feast day is on July 14th. Her, she was patron of care for creation indigenous people. Saint Kateri gave her life to God. She never married. When she was four years old, her whole she had a disease called smallpox. Her whole family died. She then lived with her uncle. She refused to marry, so he gave her more work to do, but she enjoyed it. She was the first Native American saint and was a member of the Mohawk tribe. Kateri means Saint Castle in the Mohawk language. <laughs> 